Hello, um, this is phase one of my solar and wind project. As you can see here, I've got three solar panels, um, total of 685 watts per hour is capable. Um, and what I've got, I have got those panels, they're on a 35 degree angle faced due south. And right now we have diffuse sunlight, so it's partly overcast and whatnot. But I'll pan around here and show you what is inside up underneath the solar panels and inside the power room, so to speak. I have four deep cycle batteries that are hooked up series parallel. They're, uh, each battery is 12 volt and two of them are hooked parallel to make 24 volt. And then they're hooked in series uh, parallel, se parallel series to give a total of 24 volt uh, battery bank and I'll pan up in here and what I have is a charge controller there's a 30 amp charge controller that comes from my solar panels it um, your positive and the negative respectively from in and out of your solar panels comes here and what we got here is a status right here if I can hold it still. So it tells the voltage on the battery bank was 28 volt. 3.8 amps is coming out of the uh, solar panels and the loads for two. So even in diffuse sunlight, I'm still producing a decent amount of power. Um, and right here you can see a positive and negative bus bar, a 30 amp fuse, a 100 amp fuse, and this charge controller right here is for my future second phase for the wind turbine it is currently not hooked up right now all i have to do is hook it up to the wind turbine with the three yellow wires and then the positive and the negative wire respectively go to the positive and negative bus bar and that's it it will feed power into the battery bank um, i have a thousand watt pure sine wave continuous watts inverter I think it peaks at 1500 watts, I'm not real sure. So, that's what we got right now. Then you can see where it says charging on the LED lights, blinking and almost full on the battery bank. And I forgot to mention um, the batteries, they're standard deep cycle batteries. They're roughly 90 amp hours per battery. So the battery bank is almost uh, about 300 and 60 to 380 amp hours which equivalates to about 4,000 watts worth of stored electricity um, and you can only pull the battery banks down halfway at least that's what they recommend so but either case that's 2,000 watts of electricity you can use before you need to charge the batteries in in other words you could run if something was a thousand watts you could run it for two hours continuous without any sunlight and still your batteries would still be 50% charged because then you never want to take your deep cycles down below 50%. So that's what that is. And um, let me back out of here. Might get a little bumpy for now. The solar panels, um, I had to combine two kits. Basically I bought a hybrid kit and I uh, didn't really like it that much. So I went with a solar company and added a solar panel with it. But each solar panel, puts out um, like 35 volts something like that uh, the solar panels are wired in parallel in other words um, the voltage is not added it's 35 volts that's going into the charge controller you, you never want to wire your solar panels in series because you put too many volts into the system so again the solar panels they are wired wired parallel so they give you 35 total volts um, in in sunlight and whatnot. And basically, like on, you can kind of look, it's kind of overcast and it's give or take about 225 in the afternoon. And I'm putting out almost three or 400 watts per hour into the battery bank. And that is really not bad. So, and you can kind of see the setup here. I've got that. Now walk around here, and obviously you definitely want to ground everything. There is an eight foot grounding rod right there with the ground wire going to it. And again, this is phase one. 
Phase two, I've got a wind turbine that I will be hooking up when I get the chance to. And again, uh, the wind turbine will hook into its own charge controller. That is right there. And when I hook it up, it will put into the battery bank. The wind turbine is rated at a maximum of 400 watts per hour. I highly doubt I will get that out of it. Uh, startup wind speed will be around, oh, eight or nine miles an hour. I might get 50 watts per hour at that. The only way I would get 400 watts per hour is like 22 miles an hour. Don't expect that. But since I got it, I'm going to hook it up to the system and see what I have. But right now, I'm doing pretty good on the solar and everything. But uh, this is awesome. It will run a skill saw. It will run a drill. Uh, right now, I'm going to... Uh, with an underground wire it's unfortunately i've got to dig and dig and dig and dig and go on up that bank run it into the house with its own outlet and receptacle um and i'm on power of like a 55 inch flat screen tv playstation 4 wireless internet and the mathematically the battery bank and what the solar's put out i can run my system for about eight to nine hours every day and that's that's not too bad um all right thanks for watching bye